popularity as the season three winner of Hell's Kitchen. Now he's busy running his very own restaurant, Queen Mother's, in Washington, D.C. Please welcome Chef Rock Harper. Hey, hey Chef! Hello, good to be here. Woo! Okay, before we even get started, we've got to say hi to our guests at the tasting table. So we got our resident taster, Marco G. Yeah. Hey. And we have our audience guest, Cecilia. Hey! And we have the queen mother herself, Miss Carol. Hey. <laughs> I love it. You brought your mother. Look, mama Wait, came out. It better be good. Okay. <laughs> well, what inspired you to open Queen Mothers? Well, I opened Queen Mothers right in the middle of the pandemic uh, okay. in 2020. And at that time, you know, chefs always talk about their moms and their aunties and their grandma. Right. And I said, we have to actually walk. Uh, what we talk and, and 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 put up wonderful images of these queens that inspired all of this lovely food that we right. have today in this, in this country. Well, I'm looking at all of this. Yes. It's smelling good. Mom, before you take that first bite, queen, I just want to say, ask you, are you so proud of everything your son has accomplished? I'm so proud and I'm so grateful oh. that he's living his dream yeah. and one of them is being here. And another question, queen mother, because I was talking about Rihanna. She said her son is fine. I said everybody should think their son is fine. <laughs> How fine you think your son is? A hundred percent. There we go. A hundred. There we go. I'll All take right. it. I'll you take guess it. right. Thank you. Now, what are we making today, Chef? So we are making Queen Mother's uh, famous duck fat fried chicken. Ooh. Mm, that sounds good. Love the family, too. Okay, yes. yes. Duck fat fried chicken. Give it a little oomph, and we also have some stewed okra and tomatoes, another wonderful plant in a, uh, a great right. dish. Okay. Absolutely. Shall we get into it? Okay, let's get into it. All right, it. I'm gonna need your help if I can. Okay. All right, so we have our seasonings here onion powder, uh, smoked paprika, not paprika, but. Paprika. There it is. All right. When uh, you eating, it tastes like paprika, but all right. <laughs> there it is. A little salt, uh, some garlic powder, pepper, and touch of cayenne. You want to put that in there for so me? So pour this in here yes. like this? Yes, boom, okay. beautiful. All in there, all and right. And then one of the secrets here is I use rice flour, about 25%, if you want to start stirring that a up. Rice flour. Yeah, rice flour is less absorbent of the oil, so we're not going to have that greasy fried chicken. We oh. Want crisp, golden brown, delicious. Okay, okay, so I'm getting this together. Yes, and while you're doing that, I, we have our brine chicken here, okay. right? Brine is simply salt water. You can add more flavor to it. Oh. You rinse that off, but it helps the juice, right? No fried chicken, no dry fried chicken at the cookout. Yeah, you gotta have the juice in there, okay? Yeah, you put that on there. Can I ask the tasting table how you guys enjoying it so far? Excellent. I was okay. Good. When they said fried chicken for breakfast, I was in. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. All right, and then, so we're going right into the flour. Okay. And I'm gonna mix this up. Now we're gonna press that in there. Yeah. Right? And we want to let these sort of hang out after the brine. The skin, another Just little secret. There. Yep. Okay. Skin gets nice and crisp. Okay, so while you're doing this and flouring the chicken, now you recently attended the opening of Hell's Kitchen restaurant. Yes. Now, okay, did you enjoy it? Because we know, oh my goodness. Oh, we it know how it gets on Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> I love it. So my, my man Gordon Ramsay, uh, he's he's a wonderful guy, and uh, we got to hang out. I hadn't seen him in a minute. The beautiful thing I love about Chef Ramsay is that uh, we had great conversation. We weren't really talking. Chef Ramsay. Now yes. every time I see him, he looks mean as all get up, <laughs> and he'd be talking to the people crazy. Off you say, TV. oh, that's off, but all off TV's, TV's not like that. Well, I shouldn't say off for TV. Some some for TV. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, in the kitchen. He's he's a he's a he's a monster to deal with outside yes. of the kitchen. Asked about my mama. Yeah. And, uh, Gordon Ramsay asked about your mama. He said, "How's he mom?" He did. How's mom? So, okay. But well, I don't. I don't put that on Gordon. I just put that. You got a great mom. She That's is what it is. so brilliant <laughs> and beautiful <laughs> with her uh, star blazing self. So I love it. Thank oh. you. Yeah. All right. So we got this chicken over here. Yeah. So I pulled out a couple in here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna add uh, these, Sherry. I'm sorry. Okay. What are you adding? So we're gonna add these to the uh, to the flour. Three fifty. Three fifty. Uh, How long? To the maybe about uh, ten minutes. If okay. we got a bone in there, maybe about fifteen minutes. Okay. So we Ooh. wanna. Make sure it's nice and... You taking too long putting the chicken in. All when right, I get right. to eat it? Okay. So we got we got a couple Ooh, pieces chef. for you right there, but Thank are we getting you. here first or are you yes. taking a bite? No, I just want to take a bite, but we I can take a bite while you doing okay. it. Okay, <laughs> Okay, what's next? Uh, so we have the Holy Trinity, uh -huh. which is peppers, celery. Oh! Is that good? Mm. You oh, better yeah. stop. That's good. That's good. Come on. Y'all don't even know. Can you tell me? Can you back me up? How good is this chicken? We got you. We got you. Yeah, okay. We got you. Queen oh, Mother. Done. 
How good is this fried chicken? It's wonderful. Ooh, my, no, wonderful. It's it's, it's, this, this chicken is fine, I like you it. are. Hey. <laughs> I heard that. Can I leave? Do I leave now? No, don't leave, because okay, you have right. to keep cooking. All right, I'm, oh. I want to leave on the house. <laughs> So we going to, listen, is the blush coming through on the brown? All right. Mm. <laughs> uh, we got a little salt, some pepper, and our okra. Okra is great. It's a nutritious. It's a super food before that was even invented. Okay. Right? Um, it's great for us. We put that in there. We're going to saute. And also, we're going to go in with some tomatoes. All right? Stew, and just let that stew down. Now, why are you letting it stew down? Yes. I know that you work with the late, great restaurateur, B. Smith. Yes. I loved her. What was it like working as her chef? Yes, yes, yes. You know, if, if you see a theme here, I've been surrounded by incredible, uh, uh, just phenomenal genius black women, mm -hmm. and that's been a big testament to my career. She was, she was amazing. She allowed me to succeed and also fail, which was a part of my success. Mm -hmm. uh, but B. Smith in D.C., and I actually worked here up on 46 when she had the restaurant. Oh! On Restaurant Row. John and I were at that restaurant all the time. Yeah, she was uh, phenomenal and just a big part of my career. Oh, I love it. Look at this okra. I'm so excited to taste this okra because I'm not an okra person. Yes. So I can't wait to taste it. You're making it look so good. It's over all about here. the love, Sherry. I can feel the love yes. in there. You want to stir that for me just okay. for a second and then. So I stir it up. Yeah. Now, how long am I supposed to be stirring this? Well, what we want to do, many people get turned off by the, um, the texture of okra. Of the okra, yeah. Right. And, and you just want to make sure that uh, it stews down and it's cooked just until it's tender. Oh, this sounds like a first date right yeah. here. All right. All right. Hey, Queen Mother, is your son single? Yes, ma'am. Your son is single? What's his credit score? <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Well, let's keep cooking this okra. All right. We're going to keep cooking okra. Come on. All right. And then, and listen. We really gonna be talking about that first oh, date the after this. What's sweet treat? Okay. All right. Okay. What is so, all right. So where we going after the okra? Yes. So I'm gonna plate this up, and he oh, just want a little bit up. of rice, maybe some fragrant jasmine. Put my, my chicken right yeah, let's there. Put the, put the jasmine, uh, the, the chicken there. Right there. there okay. So you tell me about the sweet treat. And then what we have here is I made okra. a sweet tea. Oh. This okra is good. Uh, uh. Is that good? Is this that good? okra is yeah. good. Thank you. Y'all yeah, like this okra is good. It's good for you too. Mmm. I love it. It's good for you as well. I like that. I can, you can tell me. I'm just riding on the high right now, Sherry. So you can tell me when the exit. Look, I'm right. high right now too. Right. I'm just okay. Oprah. <laughs> this is so good, yeah, and good. I don't like okra. So when simple. they told me you're making okra, I was like, oh no. But I like this okra. Very simple. Okay, so this is tea right here. Yes. All right. So what's going to tea is this? So this is a uh, this this tea actually is blended in Washington D.C. Um, it's a place called Calabash, and mm -hmm. all organic. Smell that, please. Mm-hmm. You want some liquor in here? N yes, just a touch. <laughs> little what was in here? Little Uncle, Uncle Nearest whiskey. Oh, you want yeah. some whiskey in here? Oh, oh. I know Uncle. Mm -hmm. I know that Uncle. This, oh, yeah. this, this is that, uh, <laughs> come on. Ah, ah. Let me not lean. I don't want to burn my wig up, but this is good. Oh, my goodness, just okra and the chicken. Chef Rock, thank you so much for being here. And for more on all of these recipes, 